I don't think you want a long wheelbase car around what well, looks like a fairly twisty circuit. It's often, it's often sometimes it's hard to uh, see with the track map. Sometimes the, it's a little bit uh, deceptive. Thank you for the well-timed uh, <laughs> well alert as well. Okay. Where, are we, where on earth are we going? Uh, I'm guessing left. Possibly. I just see a ramp going out to nowhere. That's a good sign. Uh, <laughs> that says there are a few ramps going around to nowhere. That's alarming. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, oh, there is actually a wall to stop cars falling off. That's nice. Uh, oh, there's a nine tails behind. What about going to the outside? Oh, didn't want to. We just about got away with that. Little bit concerned. But, uh... We had the cars getting connected there, and we were just both stuck going to the outside. Four into four, not the worst, biggest problem. Uh, maybe that track is going upwards. I think that might. Bloody hell! I uh, don't think it's actually going anywhere. I don't know why that's there, but I guess it's for some sort of track markings. Ugh. I mean, that I was not intentional going to the inside whatsoever. There, uh, I was just going to be breaking a lot later. Ewan's making a run for it. This isn't right. Folks, Ewan's running away at the front. I'm not quite sure how this is happening, but Ewan is currently running away. Uh, Nareth has missed a checkpoint while being on the track, because that is Nareth's specialty. If someone can find a way to miss a checkpoint while being on the circuit, it is Nareth's. It's quite impressive, really, how well Nareth manages to miss checkpoints constantly. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to fit around there. There was almost an opportunity. Almost. Just not quite. Uh, uh, that one there, you might be able to miss if you're not careful. I'm going to have a bit of a slipstream pull. We do, but it's not enough. Okay, we're on to lap number two, and Ewan continues to lead. This, I mean, the catch-up is going to be minimally effective around this circuit. Um, there are not too many long straights. I would still expect between me and Gliska, catch up slipstream to be able to bring us back to you and it's very very it's not the worst circuit for being able to catch up to so I wouldn't have thought it was uh, I bet that's the checkpoint Nares missed jumping too much to the inside Nares did you try and cut the corner too much there oh I have bounced around horribly uh, Gliska is still behind yeah you gotta be really careful with these Curbs. I do like to chuck the car about a little bit. Uh, if you drive across them too aggressively, still Ewan. Here's what Here comes Stinty and, and Brazen. They will get some slipstream. This is going to go to the inside here. Uh, we're going to maintain momentum on that outside line and be inside for the next quarter. And this is what Ewan wants to see. If we're doing this, we are not going to catch up to that frosty gold machine. We'll just we'll just put the pressure on Ewan here. We'll keep the curse of the commentator threat ever present. Will you and make a mistake? Will you and bounce off a tyre somewhere around the track and throw away this glorious massive lead that uh, that he currently has? Who knows? We will find out in the coming laps. I'm giving Stinty little nudges through the corner. brazen has got a better run. Uh, uh, Brazen's oh, going to get to the inside but can't do anything really with it uh, at the moment. Oh, again, there's a little, little bit of light contact. Oh! <laughs> Brazen lifted out at the right time on that one. Otherwise, I think we'd both have died. Still, none of us can catch Ewan. Did we forget to turn on... Even if we'd forgotten to turn on catch-up, I would have thought the uh, slipstream would have been enough to bring us towards that frosty gold car. We're going to have this titanic battle for second place in a minute. We've got Fluffy and Ninetales are coming to join us as well. And this might be what saves Ewan. Uh, is if we're all doing this, I, mean, I want to get past Stinty, who wants to get past Gliska. Uh, no one's going to be able to do much at the moment. It's all... Oh, careful. It's all a little bit too crowded in this. Stinty has a look, but it's only a half chance there. That then slows Stinty down, slows Gliska down a little bit as well. Uh, Gliska pings off the wall, a slightly laggy collision there. Uh, will we get, hopefully, a good... Oh, there's a little bit of, little bit of connection problem going on. Uh, <laughs> right, oh, so Brazen's fallen behind the two red cars that are now stacking up behind me. I screwed that corner up a little bit on the way in. I get a really good exit, but not... Mm. See, I could have had a dive there, but I 
had a feeling we would have just all lost time to- Oh! Ewan's made a mistake! It's happened! It's happened! Ewan made that little mistake. Ewan made that- that little mistake. It wasn't a big crash, but it was just enough. Oh, it's all gonna get a little bit feisty now, I suspect. Uh, <laughs> it's now a six-car battle for the lead going on. Yeah, there's a lot of cars fighting for the lead in this one. They're three wide around what would be the final corner. I'm on the outside of Fluffy. Uh, this still not this position is still not sorted. Fluffy's wide and in the wall. That will put me up to fourth. Oh come on, game, stop! Screw me over when it comes to not giving out slipstream. Oh, I'm really sorry, Fluffy. I thought you were going the other side. You do get some slipstream eventually in all of that. A little too late for my liking. <laughs> Just, this is it. I mean, this is touring car racing at its best. Everybody is nose to tail. Uh, Noretz is on the anti corner cutting uh, duty. I think one of the red cars, I think Nine Tails might have missed the checkpoint. I'm trying to jump too much to the inside. That will be a race over now. At this stage, there is no recovering from that. We are alongside Stinty, but I take such a tight line, we lose all sorts of speed. We get a big two wheeled moment. Uh, that is going to cost me time, maybe even a position to brazen as you and Gliska bump doors. Well, kind of doors. Uh, I would not want to be on the outside of a three wide there. <laughs> so wisely Fluffy backs out of that. Raising too slow on the mid corner. Going to lose a place to Fluffy. Stinty now takes the lead at his own circuit. Can Ewan find a way back past? Can me and Gliska catch back up to that lead pair? I have no idea yet. Yeah, Ewan's going to try to look for a way to the outside. Uh, I'm almost happy to not try and overtake just yet. We need to be as well organised as possible here. If we are going to get back to that group. We need to not lose any time back here. And uh, we need them going side by side for as much of the lap as we possibly can. A little bit of lag. Okay, uh, they've gone side by side. Ewan's lost out big time there. Stinty's made a mistake through the next corner. Gliska's got the run with nowhere to go with it. I might actually be the one to get the best run out of all of that uh, as we shoot to the inside. Team Orange was parked on the inside as well. Fluffy's gone the other way around. Fluffy's going to get to the lead on the outside. <laughs> Me and Fluffy went either side of the pack. We've come out one and two. Uh, we're going to have to go side by side, though, through these chicanes. Let's go with the slipstream off of the red car. This could go any which way. This could really go any which way. Stinty's looking for a way past, but can't do it. Stinty just kind of stuck down in fifth as we all fight for position. I get a slide. Ewan slides around as well. Uh, and I think that's going to be Stinty up a position. Uh, who comes out this next section in first is probably going to be the winner. It's so difficult to overtake through the final couple of corners that I doubt you will be able to do it. This corner, this next corner, is the important one. Who is going to come out of this one in first? I am not far enough alongside to have a dive there. We'll lose out to the other cars. Glisk has got the lead for now, but Fluffy has the run. I've got a really good run as well. just nowhere to go with it. Uh, we're going to try <laughs> tuck underneath. Fluffy leads the way now. Uh, you, might, you might have time for a big slipstream battle down towards the final hairpin. There's a cat meow going on in the background. We don't worry about that. Uh, is there anywhere to go? Can Gliska get alongside? Gliska opens the door a little bit. We try to <laughs> follow. It's going to be a slipstream fight to the finish line here. Uh, they are side by side. I want a piece of this. There's no space. We can't do it. In fact, we're going to end up off the podium. <laughs> I could have kept my car in the gap. And if I had, I would have taken out both the leaders. There was a gap there. We end up fourth in the end of that one. Bloody hell, look at the finishing times. <laughs> what a race. What a race indeed. Yeah, there was, there was a gap to the inside that was going to vanish. Um, if I'd kept my car there, we would have all wiped out. And it just had to lift. You can't go across the curb, though. I think the curb's too high. So we lost that little crucial bit of momentum. I don't quite know how I kept on to fourth, in all honesty. I thought you would have got us as well. Uh, <laughs> that's ridiculous. First to fifth, covered by less than half a second. Oh. Right. Racing time. Racing time, indeed. Uh, let us run away from... Oh, there, there. Okay, don't cut the corner. But we can cut this one. This one. Oh, that one. That one's got a quite bouncy curb to watch out for. Oh, there's all. So oh no. 
There's also an uh, easy way. I was thinking that was a lot wider than, uh, than, than it was. There's no landing. There's no wriggle room there. Uh, uh. Don't land on the roof of my car. Don't do Oh, there's a lot of cars have fallen off there. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably not what you wanted to do there, is it? <laughs> I applaud the effort. Like, good effort, but it, it, it didn't work. It did not work. It's recovery drive time. It is uh, very much a recovery drive time. Ah, I think those things are destructible. Okay, that's 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 a that's safer. They might slow you down a little bit. Oh, that well, them they're, they're not destructible, or well, they might be. I, no, then they are. The <laughs> nine tails hit it, so <laughs> I'm gonna guess with probably not. There's Chris. Attempted to give a little, just a little punt, just the, the littlest of punts. Oh, Blakey got murdered on street furniture. Uh, we've got street furniture on a sky truck. <laughs> uh, Blakey did try to kill us, not intentionally, but he did try. R regardless of intention, there was some, some murder involved in that one. Uh, we have got away. We we're seventeenth at the moment. There might be. Again, a little chance of a recovery here. The leaders aren't so far away that... Uh, oh, that looks iffy up ahead. Yeah, you and wisely thinking better of that one. I'm going to not get involved. Yeah, I'm, like, too wide, I will be okay with. Oh, bloody hell. You and well done for saving that. Like, I, I saw that going on and I felt sure that you and was about to go off. Um... And somehow he didn't, so... Bonus points for Ewan. Oh, that's a bad... That's a really bad place for Nereth's car to suddenly go out of ghost mode. That's shockingly bad. That's all on the game. <laughs> that's all very much the game's fault there. Um, oh, Ninetales tried to do an aerial overtake, and I think it actually worked. Well done, Ninetales. It not, wasn't a clean aerial overtake, but... Did... Well... There was a wobble... But it did work. Oh! <laughs> they're like they're in, they're interesting corners. However, they are just dangerous. I feel like there's that, that's definitely just just added added danger. What's gone on here? What did go on here? <laughs> Something weird went on there. <laughs> Why was it all stopped? Don't quite know. I mean, it's, it's bunched everyone back up again. Unfortunately, it's, the leaders are free. It's just bunched up like 8th place and back. Uh, we're going to get a really, really good run. Uh, do I go to the inside? Ninetales has not really got the run on the leader. That uh, I was expecting. So this might actually get us to... Oh, it's 7th. Oh, we just bobbled. The, the curbs are not fun. The curbs are, I've decided, unnecessarily mean. Someone's fallen off. I think that might have been the refs. Ewan's upside down on that ramp again. If Ewan saves that, I don't think he has. He might have done. I can't tell. We have to concentrate on our own race. But, uh, yeah, that's quite an impressive... Quite, quite, quite an impressive rollover from Ewan. Oh, we're going to have a big run, but the car behind's got an even bigger one. Sam is going to get aerial, aerial overtake. Oh, actually, surprisingly not. May have had a lift. Coming up there, uh, we've got. Uh, to be fair, they've actually run out of slipstream. They pulled out the slipstream quite early. They've got a good run, but there's nowhere to go. It's traffic jam central here, and uh, we know we've got to get back in to line. Oh, more sky furniture getting the better of us. <laughs> I would only do that manoeuvre because I trust Nine Tails to actually give us a sensible amount of space for all of that. I think it was Chisler or Crow on the outside again, who I would just about trust for us to get out his chisel, yeah. It's just, there was just about enough sensible drivers around there to make that one work. Ninetales will fall back into line behind us as well. Uh, I mean, this is... There are places that are a bit unnecessarily mean. It's, we've still managed to have a good race. I think that's more because we've raced each other, certainly a lot of these group race each other so much, we can still have a fun race. Um, <laughs> Gliska and Brazen are notorious for crashing each other off out of races, so I expect that to be the case here. Uh, I just, I'm going to try and not get involved in their grudge match. Uh, oh, oh, I might have, I might have very nearly pushed Gliska off. I lifted at the last available second, and we didn't push Gliska off. Yep, there goes the... <laughs> I feel like Gliska's going to be on a warning for that one, for terrible driving. I feel, I feel like Gliska's going to get a warning for that one. It's definitely well-deserved. 
It's a terrible piece of driving there. <laughs> A silly grudge match happens to take place in front. Oh crap! Chisler's dead. <laughs> that's just that's never going to end well. Like, Chisler did recover that one surprisingly well, all things considered. But uh, yeah, that's that's not a good place. That's not a place you want to have a shunt. Oh, I think I brushed the wall. I somehow managed to brush the wall with the smallest amount of my car to not actually lose speed. But yeah, there was a, there was a wall brush. Uh, we are cutting this one ridiculously fine, but that's where you get the speed. You know, you go a little bit faster if you're cutting the track. You know, that fraction bit more than the car ahead, but you run the risk of possibly falling off at some point. At the moment, I'd like to think I'm just about running... Uh, not taking the really insanity risks. They are risks, but they aren't the most crazy of risks. Oh, we're stuck in a line. Flippy, let's go. I'm trying to push. We were going for a bump draft, but... I've got no real draft back here. I think it's Flippy anyway ahead of us. I think that was the name I saw a little while ago. The names have apparently vanished. They've given up displaying uh, whoever's ahead of us. Are we going to have some names? It was Flippy. Uh, it's, you know, the game does what the game does, really. Oh, Flippy got a pretty good run down here. I can't do anything out there. That was all. Oh, Ninetales is in trouble. Ninetales is a goner. Uh, reco well, I say recovers. You know, could have been worse and everything. But uh, here we go. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> we that was there was an undertake and because of the contact I actually spun the car back to pointing the right way far better than if I hadn't been behind it. Oh no! There was a triple there was a triple car hatch mid race. That is a new that is a first. We've had we had a quadruple car hat, but that was stationary parked on a bridge. Ninetales has actually made a triple in a race and got away with it. Well done, Ninetales, you have set a new a new record for the first triple car hat mid-race and survived. You know, that, that being the important bit of that one, actually it was a survived triple car hat. Uh, oh, <laughs> Impega was not giving up on that one. <laughs> there was not going to be any lifting from Impega. I basically, I had to be the one to lift. I, otherwise, well, I had to be the one to lift because otherwise I was going in the wall. Impega was going to make it. So, yeah, that was that. Was that. We've got the run. Oh, it's not going to be enough. No, no, <laughs> that was a lot of a battle. That was a lot of battling to the finish line. I just, I thought I had the run. I might have got out of slipstream a little too soon. If anything, I might have been too close, actually, for that one. Kieran takes victory from Danger Man. Then Krogasmic Nareths in Pegami. Ninetales finishes seventh, but does set the record for the first in-race survived triple car hat. Uh, Gliska gets a disqualification for punting uh, <laughs> and flippy Liam and Brazen gets fastest lap.